Hello friends and welcome to this week's Friday Fire video. David Copeland with you. Hope you're having a great day and that you're looking forward to being in the house of God somewhere this weekend. Pam and I have just completed three and a half weeks of ministry that has taken us all across Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia, and this coming weekend into South Florida. We are so excited. I am excited about the hunger and the thirst. It's a fresh hunger and a thirst for God and His Word and for His presence that I'm sensing almost everywhere we go. We've also just completed our annual uh, marriage retreat in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. We had uh, a small group of couples come together for two and a half days of intense teaching of some great fellowship, but most of all, the intensity of the presence of the Lord was something that just tremendously blessed each and every one of us. And I encourage you to keep a watch on our website uh, for our next marriage retreat. We're uh, going to try to plan one for early of 2012. Also, we're planning our annual couples cruise for the fall, September of 2012, and all of that information will be on our website coming up in just a few days at RevivalNow.org. This weekend marks one of the most holy days in all of the, of the Jewish calendar. It's the Jewish people's Day of Atonement. It's called Yom Kippur. Now, I'm not an advocate for Christian people going back underneath the law, but yet we have to understand that Jesus came for the Jew first and then for the rest of the Gentile nations. And there are many people that believe that God is through with the Jewish people, but I believe that just as the greatest days for the church of Jesus are ahead, I believe the greatest days for the Jewish people also are ahead. And we've got to understand that there are special seasons and blessings that are directly related to the Jewish calendar. Those, those feasts will release a fresh impartation of anointing and of blessing in the lives of the body of Christ if we can understand the, what it uh, means in a New Testament application for the people of God. The Day of Atonement signals the end of what is called the Ten Days of Awe, or the Ten Days of Repentance. It starts with Rosh Hashanah, uh, which is the Jewish New Year, the blowing of the trumpets signaling the end of one season and the beginning of another. The Jewish people believe that people's names are written in the Book of Life or in the Book of Death on Rosh Hashanah. And, but, but before it is sealed, they believe that God gives people 10 days in order to search their hearts, to reflect upon where they are, what they're doing, and to repent of those sins and those shortcomings that they have committed in the previous year, thus pleading with God to seal their name in the book of life which will release a season of blessing and prosperity upon the Jewish people in the, coming of, in the coming year. They believe that both the book of life and the book of death is sealed on Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. And, it, and it, it, again, it will either release blessings or curses for the upcoming year. So what, so what does that, that mean for us as Americans, us as the New Testament body of Christ? As we focus on the, on the fact and as we honor the truth that Jesus' blood has already been sprinkled on the altar in heaven, He was the supreme sacrifice. We don't have to sacrifice a chicken. We don't have to sacrifice a bull or a goat or a cow or anything like that. Jesus' blood has been sprinkled on the altar of heaven, and because of that blood of sprinkling, we can now ha have and walk in the blessing of God for this new season. I believe that 2012 is going to be a very, very tense year. In fact, economists are saying it, politicians are saying it. I'm absolutely convinced that the coming general election in the United States could be one of the most dangerous and most volatile and most chaotic seasons of any political cycle in our lifetime. And some of us are going to have to draw back from the world and from the information that the world is giving us 
and focus on the truth of the Word of God. Focus on the presence of God and on the promises of God. The number 12 in Scripture is the number of the government of God and the number of the order of God. Chaos and crises are Satan's attempt to disrupt and to break God's divine order in our lives. I've said it many times in places that we that we go that there are people that are in your life right now that they're, they're no longer needed in your life. It's not that they've done wrong and it's not that you have done wrong. It's just that the season for that connection is over with. There's some of us that have been doing certain ministries and activities that we that that, that assignment has been completed and it is completed and we must not allow chaos and crises to disrupt the order of God, but if we will willingly embrace the Holy Spirit's call to repentance, to reflection, and to rededicate ourselves, number one, to the Lord Jesus Christ, and our lives to the service of God, I believe that we're going to experience a greater measure of God's divine order, and I am convinced, I am declaring it for me, for our for Revival Now Ministries, for our partners, for our families, that instead of being controlled and dominated by the chaos and crises in the world, we are going to enter into a season of favor in the midst of famine. Psalm 37, 19, he said that he that even in times of famine, that we're going to be satisfied. And that satisfaction cannot come from money, cannot come from the things of this world. It can only come from having a right relationship, knowing that the blood of Jesus has washed your sins away. In fact, Paul, the, the writer in Hebrews, said in Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 16, he said, So let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. I hope that blesses you, my friend, as much as I'm excited about this next season. There has been a shift. There has been a tremendous shift in the realm of the Spirit, and I am trusting and believing for all of our friends and partners and for the whole body of Christ that we will not be controlled by the chaos and crises of this season, but we will be dominated by the favor of God, even in the midst of famine. Join us this weekend. If you're in the South Florida area, Pam and I will be ministering on Sunday, October the 9th at 10.30 a.m. at the Mission Del Rey in Del Rey Beach, Florida with Pastors Carl and Tracy Thomas, dear friends of ours, partners in ministry. The church meets at Orchard View Elementary School at 4050 Old Germantown Road in Del Rey Beach. Uh, the phone number for the church office is area code 561-450-8555. That's the Mission Delray this Sunday, October the 9th at 10.30 a.m. We're so glad that the Mission and Pastors Carl and Tracy are a part of the Revival International Network of Ministry. Something that you're going to be hearing some more about in the coming weeks as as, as a outlet and an outreach ministry of Revival Now Ministries. October the 16th, 17th, and 18th, we will be back in Dayton, Tennessee at New Vision Church of God uh, with Pastors Scott and Cindy Michael. The services begin Sunday morning at 11 a.m., Sunday night at 6 p.m., Monday, Tuesday at 7 o'clock p.m. We would love to have all of our friends in the East Tennessee area to come and join us for these wonderful meetings, believing for a great outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Friends, we love you. You are blessed and highly favored of the Lord. And may this weekend let the fire of the Holy Spirit of God fall in your life in a great and mighty way. God bless you.